On this episode of China Uncensored, guess what's washing up in Chinese rivers now? Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host Chris Chapel. Okay, this is not funny anymore. When 6,000 dead pigs washed up in Shanghai's drinking water, and the idiot authorities said it was still fine to drink, that was already a bad joke. When that number shot up to 16,000, it just stopped being funny. Then they had to find a thousand dead ducks in another river, along with a few hundred more pigs, and the water's still safe to drink. I I don't think these authorities understand what it means for water to be safe to drink. Maybe they just mean politically safe, like they won't get arrested for it. But come on, seriously, do they have to start finding human corpses before they say the water isn't safe to drink? Of course, that's ridiculous. If you've been watching China Uncensored, you know, of course. Of course, human corpses have been washing up by the hundreds for decades. Recently, authorities in Lanzhou City in Gansu Province said they find about a hundred bodies every year in their part of the Yellow River. That's probably a gross underestimation, however. Though, really, the truth is even grosser. The Gansu Province has become home to a booming business called body fishing. A body fisher is someone who combs the river looking for corpses. They leave the bodies floating in the water to preserve them in the cold, and then charge the families about five hundred dollars to take a look at their deceased loved ones. In this report from 2010, just one body fisher said he finds about a hundred corpses a year. So yeah, there's more than a hundred corpses turning up a year. Of course, according to Lan Zhou's environmental official, even though there are hundreds of decomposing corpses, it's it's had no effect on the quality of the water. Okay, come on. If hundreds of dead bodies doesn't affect the quality of the water, what does? Unless maybe the water quality is so bad already, what they're just saying is it can't get any worse. And they say don't drink the water when you go to Mexico. Come to think of it, how many of you have been to China and had a glass of water or tea? Of course, the other unpleasant question this thing raises is why are there hundreds of corpses in China's rivers? You'd think, you know, police might want to fish out the bodies and I don't know, investigate. Authorities say most of the victims drowned or died in accidents, but well, I think we've established how credible Chinese authorities are. The body fishers say most of the corpses look like suicides or murders, but that obviously can't be. Why? Just in February, China's Ministry of Public Security reported that China's murder rate was nearly the lowest in the world, and what few cases of homicide there were get solved. So there's no way. There's no way these hundreds of unidentified bodies could be unsolved murder cases. There's no way. So, what do you think will be the next thing they find washing up in China's rivers? Comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chapel. See you next time.